Jeremy. Thanks for taking time with me today. I wanted to talk about balance today. And I guess I first of all should say that Jeremy Klein is a physical therapist assistant. And give me some of your background first real quick. Where have you worked as a PTA? When I first started uh, working in the field, I did about three years worth of time working in nursing facilities in Stark and Summit County. And um, the last nine years I've been practicing mainly in the outpatient field here in Stark County. So you do have a lot of experience with older folks. Yes. And, and that's, you know, the, the main thrust of our um, program here at Abide With Me. So I was wondering if you could tell us some of the changes that we go through in our body as we age that do impact our balance. Sure. Um, over time, inactivity leads to a decrease in strength, and that's a, a big reason as to why people start to suffer with their balance. Um, a lack of flexibility over time, uh, prolonged sitting, um, shortens up muscles that need to be stretched and lengthened so that in turn can lead to some bad posture which will affect your balance. Um, as we age it seems we start taking more medication mm -hmm. and that can lead to some balance issues the way that medications interact with each other. Um, our reaction time naturally slows as well as some of our range of motion. Um, there's uh, really not one specific thing that leads to poor balance. It's generally a lot of these things that are put together. Okay. So what are some of the dangers of having poor balance? Obviously falls, and usually with a fall it can be um, some broken bones, it can be head trauma, um, it can be um, just repeated falls lead to a lot of bruising and just body pain. Um, eventually if you know, the fall's bad enough and you require care, hospitalization, and then possible long-term placement in a nursing facility can result from that too. Right. And I, I think I read a statistic once that um, it, falling is one of the top two or three reasons that people are admitted to the nursing home just because it becomes such a problem and, you know, of course the family's worried, you know, what's going to happen the next time you fall. Um, also, I know that um, you know, if your balance is bad and you're falling and you break a hip, that can really be, you know, the start of a downward spiral. So whatever it takes to improve our balance, you know, we're going to want to do that. So, Jeremy, <laughs> what can we do about, about poor balance, you know, especially in the elderly, but really for anybody? What can we do? Um, there's a number of things that you can do. Um, first of all, just being aware that you have a balance problem is very helpful and not being in denial that you can do some of the things that you used to do freely. Um, some of the other things that you can do are making sure that you're taking your time, um, especially going from sitting to standing or lying down to sitting up. Um, you tend to start to have a little bit of problems when medications interact as far as uh, your blood pressure dropping and that can lead to you <coughs> losing awareness and, and leading to a fall. Um, and obviously, you know, from my standpoint, exercise is important. Um, the flexibility and the strengthening, more importantly. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this short interview with Jeremy Klein. And be sure to look for our demonstration video where Jeremy's going to actually show us some different exercises that we can do to improve your balance. Thanks.